Happy Flossmas Day 23. It is Sunday, December 23rd, and I am still here doing daily videos. So thank you for everyone who's been joining me on this really fun little month-long adventure. My, uh, my parents and my brother and his wife Kathy and my niece Clara have just left. It is, I believe, I believe it's about six o'clock in the evening. Um, I've completely lost track of time and my watch died about an hour ago, so I have no idea. But you know what? I'm on holiday. Doesn't matter what time it is. So we have the rest of the evening. We're going to sort of, you know, no plans. So we're going to play some card games. Maybe uh, there's a game that we play called Snake Oil. I don't know if anyone ha else has heard of it. It's kind of like playing... Uh, What's the other one? Apples to apples or um, not sure. You take two cards, each one of them has something on it and you are supposed to mash them together and try to sell a product to whoever the, the judge is and you take turns and the funnier the better and the judge chooses a winner and it, it's quite a bit of fun and my son really enjoys it. He usually makes his rather, you know, 10 year old boy humor. So laughter ensues. So I think we're going to do that tonight and then put our pajamas on and make some hot chocolate and put the fire on and watch a Christmas movie. So today's ornament of the day, big surprise, is still my Christmas tree ornament because I put a few more stitches in today, but it's not done yet. And so my very first plan of attack tonight is to finish up this tree. So here's where I'm at. This is the Diana Waters pattern. There, you can see it a little bit better. Diana Waters Handmade, and uh, it's Waters, W-A-T-T-E-R-S, and she has an Etsy shop. And it's a super cute little modern Christmas tree. I'm almost done, so I'm gonna finish this up tonight. And then I am simply going to turn it around in the hoop. For those of you who don't know, you you might think that I'm doing this backwards because the back of my fabric is actually this side of it. And the reason I do that, so this is called stitching in the ditch. So you're stitching inside the well or the hole of the, of the frame. The reason I do that is because it keeps the, the fabric, it keeps the inside of this fabric keeps it tidier because you're holding on to the the back part here, right? And also it makes it much, much, much easier to sew in your ends at the back when you're not sort of fighting. I mean, this is a really small hoop. This is a three inch hoop. So you can imagine trying to sew your needle inside in the back of there. It would, it would just be a little bit frustrating. So that's why. And I'm going to finish this up tonight. I'm going to use the hoop itself to turn it into a little decoration. So I'm going to take it out of the hoop. I'm going to flip it around so that the front of the pattern is like this. And then I'm going to cut the excess fabric to an inch around the outside of the loop. And then I'm going to snip uh, some, some lines all the way around that circle so that I could fold, so that I can fold the linen in. And then um, maybe maybe paste. I'm not worried about using glue in this. You know, it, it's going to be a little Christmas ornament. It's not an heirloom, so I may use some fabric glue and just tack down that uh, some a piece of fabric over top of the raw edge on the back. So that's that. It's done. So that's it. And then I'm going to hang it right on the tree as soon as I'm done. Our tree has been losing a lot of needles for the last couple of days. Every time the dog walks by, it's kind of like shh, 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 shh. you can hear the needles just falling off. So I'm not sure it's going to last as long as we hope it will, but who knows? Just a reminder about our donations to Beagle Paws Rescue. So that is www.beaglepaws.com. It is a rescue organization based out in St. John's, Newfoundland, a Canadian beagle rescue and that is the charity that we are supporting this month with Flossmas at least my channel and my friend Patty Brake from Newfoundland her channel as well and 28 of you lovely people so far have donated to Beagle Paws and I am 
so unbelievably touched. I've been getting some messages at the same time as people donating. Um, you know, getting the emails coming in has been, has been, I'll, I'll tell you, it's making my Christmas. It is making my Christmas just a little bit sweeter. I love it. I'm loving it. So in case you're new here, this is uh, the way that I'm running this giveaway is that you are asked to give a donation to Beagle Paws and the uh, there's more information in yesterday's video. So Flossmas Day 22. Uh, and there's a link to, I'll put another link in the drop down box below here. And so you make your donation, whatever denomination you decide, I don't need to know how much. Um, and then please send me an email and in the, to so caroline at evertote.com and in the subject heading of your email, please put the words Beagle Paws. That's going to, that's going to be instrumental in me helping, um, search everybody's entry. I am going to have still at the moment just six giveaways. I'm going to see if I get up to 50 entries, I'm going to bump it up two more bag sets. So let's make that a goal. Let's see if we can get 50 donations. Right now we have 28. I am going to keep this open until the very end of the month, December 31st. On January 1st to celebrate the new year, I'm going to pull the winners. So the prizes are, at the moment, I have four bag sets from Evertote, either a medium or a large. It's your choice. I will send you whichever you prefer. And I have a full set of Prairie Schooler uh, alphabet, the alphabet charts from, from A to Z. And I also have a full set of the Little House Needleworks ABC sampler houses. So four bag sets, full set of Prairie Schooler alphabet, and a full set of Little House Needleworks ABC samplers. In your email to me, please write your preference of which prize you would prefer. One, two, and three. I'll do my best to mail the winners of whoever wins the draw um, their first choice of prize as best as I can, as best as I can. So we are at 28 donations so far, which is phenomenal. I'm so, so pleased. Thank you so much. And so let's see, let's see what we can do. If we can get to 50, I'm going to kick in two more bag sets. Just a reminder, if you let the ads play, it sends uh, YouTube, um, my ad revenue. I get a few extra pennies for each ad that you just let pay play. And that I'm, I, I'm going to pay for all of the postage to mail all of these prizes out. Um, of course, I would never expect you to pay for the postage to receive your own prize. So that's ridiculous. However, it just helps me cover costs at no extra work to you other than just letting that ad play. So I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm off. We're going to go play cards and probably snake oil. And then I am going to stitch. And I have a feeling tonight... Do you know what I feel like doing? I feel like I can't be the only one who likes to do this. I either like to stay up really late all by myself or I like to get up really early in the morning when no one else is up, the house is quiet, and I turn on the Christmas tree and I put the fire on. It's a gas fire, so I put the fire on, put the tree on, make a really nice, either a cup of coffee or a cup of herbal tea, and I go and sit in my stitching chair and the house is silent except for the dog. You know, the dog usually pads in and she lays down on my feet and I have my blanket on and my pajamas and my warm drink. And then I just craft, knit, or I stitch. And it's the best. It's just the best with the Christmas tree lights twinkling and the house is silent and no one's talking to me and I can just relax. So that's my little secret, secret pleasure. But I have a funny feeling that there are a lot of you out there who are just like me. So that's my plan for tonight, unless I get super tired and crash early in bed, in which case I'm going to get up really early in the morning and do it in the morning. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is the 24th of December. I have, uh, I have some present wrapping to do tomorrow. But other than that, you will be seeing me here again because I fully intend to have this ornament done and be started on to my next one. I think that's it. The cat, this, I remember I showed you a video yesterday of the neighbor's cat. She's still, well, she's back. I mean, she's not still there. She's been here all day. 
again. She's been here all day. My husband is worse than me. My husband has been cuddling her and putting her on his lap and encouraging her. And I keep trying to put her back outside so that she'll go home. And the kids and John just keep letting her back in because she just hangs out on the porch. I mean, if I was the neighbor, I would not be happy about someone doing what we're doing. So I'm kind of struggling with this because on the other hand, I really love this little cat and I'm kind of super secretly pleased that she has, seems to have chosen us. But on the other hand, I'm feeling a little guilty. She's really sweet. Let me, I'm gonna move the camera so that you can see her. So. Don't mind the mess. This is our storage room. There, look. Look at her. Isn't she sweet? I mean, how could you kick that out of your house? That's her favorite chair too. That's her favorite chair in the whole house, honestly. She's gonna have to go home sooner or later though because the people who are paying her vet bills and her food bills, you know, don't they deserve some time too? John says it's the perfect pet. Anyways, I'm off. Happy 23rd of December. We are so close. I'm gonna go play some cards. Take care, see you tomorrow. Happy stitching. Thank you.